Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be creating this uh, neon light effect and we're going to basically animate that. So I just want to show you uh, with this uh, video basically another, another example of creating view modifier. But not only that, uh, basically, uh, I also want to show you how you can combine these simple techniques that we have learned, for example, brightness, blur, and stuff like that to basically create a special effect that might be unique to your own view. So um, I, I was working on a project and I realized that I need neon color, uh, sort of like neon color uh, effect. And uh, I ended up creating this modifier um, that actually creates a border around any uh, label and uh, changes, changes that into a neon uh, sign. So we're going to create, recreate that and see how that actually works. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a struct first and we're going to, uh, name it neon style. It's going to be view modifier. So it's going to be, um, uh, conforming to view modifier protocol. And, uh, then we're going to have, uh, it's going to expect color to be passed in and a binding property for blur radius. So we can actually animate that blur. Okay, gonna create our function body. So it's going to return some view. And now here, we are simply going to return first a Z stack of content with foreground color as color and content with blur as a radius of blur radius. Okay, so it's going to create a blur on the content itself, blur of type content. Okay, and uh, then we're gonna give it a padding. About 10 points is good. Uh, I'm gonna create an overlay of rounded rectangle with corner radius as 16 and uh, style as continuous. I'm gonna stroke that and uh, create a stroke for that and then gonna give it a line width of about four points. Okay, this is where our overlay is going to end. So we're going to create a background. Alright, this is going to be another rounded rectangle. Corner radius is going to be 16 again. Style is going to be continuous. And then we're going to Give it a stroke with color that's being passed in and line width as four. That's all. Okay. Now uh, we also need a brightness to it. So let's add a brightness of mod 0.1 and uh, some blur to this. And uh, blur radius is going to be the blur radius that's being applied to us by the color. This is our background ends. Okay. And uh, next, we're going to create another background, um, rounded rectangle. And uh, once again, corner radius is going to be 16. Style is going to be continuous. And we're going to stroke this with color. And line with us, once again, is four. Uh, these are basically just a uh, stacking bunch of uh, properties um, and bunch of overlays and backgrounds to create that shining effect of neon, that actually the blur effect around the neon light that it actually creates. That's what we are actually trying to uh, combine uh, to achieve that. So once again, it's gonna be blur radius and the opacity is going to be 0 0.2. All right, this is where another 
background is going to end and you're going to in return this as composite compositing group okay so that's our neon modifier now let's go ahead and use this so i'm going to create a z stack okay and i'm going to fill this uh rectangle with fill color white um you must be thinking why white i want to change the color the fill color uh to basically uh, uh black to see how it looks in the background that's why but it start off with white uh, background uh, so you're not going to see much difference but you're going to see when we change it back to the uh, the black color okay so first spacer then there's going to be a text you can use dev tech key and then can give it a font. Now we can use custom font. So we can say font dot custom, and we're gonna give it a. Uh, we're gonna call the name. This is one of the uh, built-in fonts uh, in iOS. Snail rounded or round head actually a round hand with size 50. Okay, and um, now we're gonna apply our modifier so we're going to say modifier neon modifier or neon style and uh, give it a color green for example and uh, let's create a couple of state variables to keep track of our changes so our change color and blur value that we're going to actually change the animation to flip-flop basically increase and decrease to show that um, blur effect okay and uh, you can supply that as an observable value here like blur and uh, then uh, next uh, we're going to have this repeat uh, three times to create three different um, red, maybe red, green, and I should put it in order. Red, green, and blue, RGB. There we go. Spacer. All right, so all of our views fit nicely in the center. And uh, then we're gonna add an animation to this guy. Ease and out. Speed, let's give it a 0 0.25. Repeat forever. And then on up here, gonna change self dot blur to be 20. I don't think we're going to use this, so let's take it out, and let me resume this to show you how the effect actually looks like. So will succeed it, let's run, and as you can see, our neon signs are glowing in three different colors. Now, let me show you how it looks on black. Okay. So, um, you can see, like, you know, it's more uh, like a neon effect uh, like on the back, black background and you can even have like you know I think uh, gray would work fine as well you can see um, the color going back and forth and uh, as our blur is changing uh, the neon shine is changing okay so that was the example I wanted to show you where you can basically create a modifier a custom modifier uh, to achieve some sort of effect and you can actually even animate that as well okay so uh, this is the example of creating neon uh, neon neon glow on the text with animation right so this is it for this video thanks again for watching i will see you guys in the next video thank you